It's Tuesday. It's Tuesday. And what week is it? Third. No, fourth? Seventeenth. Seventeenth week. We made it this far. And we have some good news today. We do? What happened? I was at work and I was sitting on the computer charting and I felt the baby move for the first time. What? <laughs> yes! Can you believe it? It's alive. It felt like this. Like a, a little tinge. And I first thought it was gas. And I was like... Which would be very, very good possibility with this yeah, one. Yeah, I'm so gassy. And I was thinking, well, I haven't tooted yet, so I don't think it's gas. And then it happened again. It did it again. And I was like, oh, that's the baby. And then I started to get a little teary-eyed, and I was at work, and I was like, oh, okay. And I texted Nathan right away and our moms and had to tell them. And then I went and told my preceptor that the baby moved for the first time ever. And what she told me was that at work, because I work with the little preemie babies, that my baby will move more when I'm at work because they'll hear the other babies crying. I don't know what the, my baby's thinking mom was doing with all these other babies, but... Cheating on the baby? Yeah. Can you trade her, mom? Yeah. So, but I was pretty excited about that. It moved on our... It. It. It moved... Whatever it is. On our 17th day. Our 17th... Week. Beginning of our 17th week. That's exciting. So that was the big news. I've been really sick this week. But you know what though? I'm just complaining. I seem to be complaining a lot lately about that. But yesterday I was really sick, right? Were you? I didn't Don't you notice. have two cents about anything? Huh? I didn't notice. Whatever you, you didn't were, notice. You were just your normal wonderful self. Shut up. You were at, you were at school all day. Exactly. I had a headache, bad headache. Oh yeah, I came home at lunch. You were laid out on the couch. I couldn't get my headache going. I took aspirin. It's just when I got up, my head would go, and then it'd go away. And then if I leaned over, like pressure. I don't know what it was. I need to get my blood pressure checked. Did you get a cuff? A cuff? Blood pressure cuff. Mm -mm. Where would I have gotten one? I don't know. Walgreens. Is that Walgreens probably? They have them at Walgreens, but I haven't been. I've been working. I don't know. I have to get 5.15, 5.45 this, this morning. You know what I do. Jeez. You know how we do. So, I don't know what that is. I hope it's not like preeclampsia or something like that. But I don't think you can get that in your 17th week. So, I think we're in the clear. Maybe it's hormones. I don't know. Um, I look shiny. You're a grease ball. I'm shining like I got a big old bald forehead. Did you take a shower Shing. today? Yes. This morning? Of course. I shower every Good. morning. Every morning. <laughs> you didn't last night. <laughs> Did I say every night? No, every but morning. you were stinky, and I said, you need to take a shower. I'm not taking a shower. <laughs> Pretty much don't even ask me anymore. <laughs> <laughs> you asked me three like, times. I was like, no. You can take a shower? No. You sure you're not going to take a shower? I was like, I'm not taking a shower. I had just changed the sheets, and <laughs> I get stink on it. Oh, on my side. I wasn't that It stinky. migrates, honey. It gets up, and it grabs me in the sleep. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't that stinky. Along with our two body pillows because Nathan uh, kept stealing his pregnant wife's body pillow in the, in the night time. I did not. Yes, you did. You, you use would, it for about would, five, minute, five minutes. He'd flip my leg off of it and then, and then kick he it would over. steal it. From, and I'd be stuck there with no body pillow. Lies. We have a marriage based on lies. <laughs> Get used to it. It just began. <laughs> but um, that's it. Nathan started school yesterday. And I don't even want to know what he did today. Anatomy lab. I don't want to know. Poor cat. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say anything. We named her Rose. No! <laughs> what? Well, she's going to teach us a lot. Did you cut her open? How bad? No, I don't want to know. I don't want to know. You don't want to know. I don't want to know. We skinned her. Nathan! <laughs> oh! What? Blade. She's not alive. Not anymore. She hasn't been for a long time. Either way. All right, well, I'm going to eat dinner soon, and I wanted to do this before I um, ate because I wanted to not have a ba uh, food belly. <laughs> what? It could still look bigger falsely. It could falsely look, have a larger appearance. Like false advertisement. You know what that is? What? When chicks wear big padded bras when you're out and about clubbing. It's called false advertisement. Because their boobs are huge. If we take off the bra, they're like mosquito bites. <laughs> they want to have false advertisement. 
<laughs> That's what I married. So, anyways, we're gonna do the baby She's boat. Classy. <laughs> oh, he poked me in the eye. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to use the camera to find you. My depth perception oh. is off. All right, I'm gonna do the baby boat. <laughs> and don't mind the outfit because I just. Just got home, and these are my pajamas. She just got home from work, and that's what she wears to work, so. No, I'm going to take the bra off in a little bit, as soon as I can. <laughs> okay. Wow, it's, it's protruding. What's it called? The bump, baby bump. Hey, you got it this time. I concentrated. It looks so fat right there, though. It's a oh, baby. Oh, my gosh, it looks fat. It's a human child capable of kicking. Make sure I don't go too low. It's a soccer player. Oh, and look at this. My love hand, or my, oh god. Yeah, it's still kind of there. Dang it, <laughs> Never mind, take that, don't think about that. So that's that, that's the baby. That's 17 weeks. All baby. Yeah? Yep. And now I'm gonna eat because, whoa. Just gotta put some food in that belly. She looks like a big donut. Oh, gosh. Okay. That's it. So, we will see you guys um, next week. Oh, I wanted to, if you guys can talk Nathan into this, any of you guys, like when you comment on our blog, it'd be a really good thing that if we get to do these gender selector tests, no. it's over the counter, no. it's only $25. No, it's like $40. Could, no, it's $25. It's like $40. No, it's not. It's not. But anyways, $40 we... $40 to, 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 to give us a not accurate... 88% accurate. A not accurate... 88% Decision accurate. of the gender when we're going to be finding out in Place less that. than a month, in about a month anyways. No. What? No, I want to do it. So talk me into it, people. Nope. Yes, it'd be a really good investment. Yes, so we can know the sex of our child. A month earlier? What's, what good is that going to do? Well, then you've got two things to say that it's really accurate. No, you know? the doctor and the ultrasound in October is going to be the really accurate part. The other one's just garbage. It is not garbage. It's garbage. I want to do it. It's a sucker born every minute, and they find a product to sell you guys. <laughs> so talk them into it, people. Okay, well, we'll be here next Tuesday, maybe with the gender selector. I don't know. <laughs> Our gender tester thing. Bye. So, bye.